Hey guys, this is a review on how to take out the RAM of your HP Mini 110 3098 from Verizon Wireless. And I don't know if they're all different or whatnot. Um, some of them are completely accessible from the back, but as you can see, as we roll over to the back, that there's nothing to unscrew here. Wow. Well, it's really simple, actually, and they, in my mind, made it a lot easier to replace a lot of the things in this thing instead of unscrewing, uh, you know, you can get to the whole underside and we'll go under, we'll go over that. So right now I'm just going to set it up on my expensive camera holder stand here and uh, flip it like so. So this is the battery right here and this is uh, removable. This is a lock on this end and the release on this end as you can see right here it's uh... It's just got a little battery symbol right there and what you do is you just slide this battery symbol over and then you push out just push straight out and then uh... so we're gonna go here and maybe it'll focus maybe it won't but you can see this little orange part right here this little orange tab. Here's the SIM card. You just push on the SIM card to release it, just like any other phone or whatever, or a SD card or whatever. You can take that out of whatever you need to. I'm sure they showed you how to do that. Anyway, this is for removing the RAM. So you're going to pull on this thing to the left. So let's just grab that, pull it to the left. And as you can see, it starts opening up a little bit as you put it, pull it to the left. As you've got it, you know, hold it held down to the left, uh, just start, just start uh, pulling away at the back here, and you're gonna feel it snap a little bit, not breaking, but releasing. And see, everything's releasing now that you held that all the way to the left. You're able to just pop it right off like that. So, now that we've got the whole back exposed, you can uh, replace your hard drive, you can replace your memory, uh, not exactly sure what that stuff is, it's not about that stuff anyway this time around, but uh, this right here is your memory, and uh, you can tell it's your, your RAM by this little symbol right here. Now I'm using my camera phone and it's not going to zoom up close enough to really distinguish that, but that basically looks like a miniature piece of a RAM stick and that's the symbol for your RAM. So this door right here is what we're going to get into. You're just going to want to take a very small screwdriver and uh, uh, ever so slightly you don't want to strip anything just start turning remember lefty loosey righty tighty so that one's loose start on the right one And the door pops right open. Don't lose those screws. There's your memory. Now, from here, um, push push these little pins to the right, just outward. There's a little pin right here, too. I don't know what you call these, a little tab. It's silver, it's metal. Pull that tab out to the left and then out to the right the RAM will pop up saying hey here I am now uh, you don't really want to touch anything on the RAM if you can't help it so just grab the sides of it and it slides right out real easy now you can't really read this but I'll read it for you this is uh, one gigabyte is what it comes with. PC2 
dash 6400s dash 666 dash 12 I think the 666 is 666 megahertz but I'm no computer or RAM expert this is actually my first time taking this thing apart uh, I just knew how to take the back off so as you can see it's very simple so uh, yeah PC2 6400 and I think that is what is compatible if you do have any you want to make sure uh, what is compatible you can go to Google and search uh, HP mini 110 dash 3098 RAM upgrade. It should bring you to a website named, I, think, I believe it is crucial.com. I'll include it in the details of this video. And it's going to tell you your RAM upgrade options. And it says from that website that you're only allowed to put in a, a 2 gig stick. And uh, so that's just what that says. If you're, if you're able to put in 4, and I don't, I don't know if this is a 64-bit processor or what, I don't think it is. I'd just stick with two. It's it's good with one. It'll be great with two. Um, so you take that out and you just replace your old your your two gigger in there. It's gonna look the same, pretty much. And then you just uh, put your stick back in there like that. Push it down. Those things click back in there. That's all you have to do. Put your, put your door back in there. There's little, there's these little uh, teeth that have to go in those holes. And you push down. And screw that back in, screw that back in. And this door, it's pretty simple. You just make sure all these little tabs in the corners and stuff go into the right areas all around. And it clicks back in, basically. So anyway, <clears throat> thanks for watching my video. And I hope you guys have a fun time upgrading your RAM and doing whatever it is you're going to do. For me, my whole thing in doing this was to get Snow Leopard onto my PC. Dual booted Mac software OS X Snow Leopard. It's basically what's on all the new Macs at the Apple store. So if you want to know how to do that, that is a different story. I recommend just searching how to put, uh, how to dual boot or install Mac Leopard OS X onto a PC. That's all you have to search on YouTube. You can go and find that out. I imagine it's quite a bit of frustration and work, so take a good six hours if it I don't know how long it's going to take because I'm just doing this. Oh, oh, and another thing, if you're going to want to do that, is you're going to have to get some CDs which allow dual layer burning capability, 8.5 gigs for a rewritable DVD. It doesn't have to be rewritable, but you're going to have to get a DVD burner. Uh, in this case, you know, you don't have one for these. They, they don't have a CD drive whatsoever, so you're going to have to get an external one. And those run about, you can, I got a nice HP, actual HP branded one uh, that you just plug right into the USB ports on, on this uh, HP. And that ran me about 30 bucks. Uh, this guy was selling them individually from laptop packages. So, uh, on eBay. So you can get one for about 30 bucks and it does DVD writing and stuff, dual layer. So and you need that big 8.5 gig CD because the Snow Leopard software um, that you'll get off the net is uh, something like 6.3 gigs or something which you won't be able to fit on a regular DVD rewritable disc you have to get the dual layer 8.5 gig size so um, 
Good luck on finding that as well, if you're interested in all that. I am because I've been a PC person for so long, and I've been pretty curious on starting that, and uh, these c these PCs can handle that, and it helps even more if you have two gigs. Um, so, enjoy guys, I, ho I ho hope I gave you some information out of this, and it wasn't too self-explanatory, but uh, yeah, good luck on your journeys and adventures. Bye.